Hey, curl friends, and welcome back. So in today's video, I'm going to show you guys how to get these super defined finger coils on natural hair. So we're starting off with freshly washed hair, of course. I'm using some shampoo and conditioner. I want my hair to be nice and squeaky clean. That way I can stretch this hairstyle as long as possible. For this particular wash day, I use the Pantene Pro-V Smooth and Sleek Argan Oil Shampoo. You guys have seen it before. And for my conditioner, I used pretty much whatever was left with my Paul Mitchell Extra Body Daily Rinse Conditioner. With this conditioner, I'm going to go ahead and detangle using a paddle brush and rinse to go ahead and start styling. Now you want to drip dry or use a microfiber towel that's not going to suck up all of the water out of your hair as this is one of the most important parts to this type of hairstyle. I'm using a leave-in from Macadamia. This is their Nourishing Moisture Leave-In Protein Treatment. It comes in a spray form. I'm going to spray my entire hair. Like I said, my hair is pretty much still dripping wet, but I want it to be wet for this particular hairstyle. Style. It's going to allow the product to slip through a really nice and easy and define our curls Finger coils is a really really tedious technique trust me guys But if you plan ahead and go ahead and separate your hair beforehand, it won't take as long I've literally got these finger coils in and maybe about two hours I think an hour and a half to two hours, but I got my entire head done You guys can see how thick my hair is in that short amount of time I'm separating my hair into four large sections using some butterfly clamps and I'm just just going to split those sections in half to begin a finger coiling. I'm using some Eco Styler Gel, the White Clear Klein, and this is the Crystal Gel, I believe. So I'm taking small sections and I'm just throwing them around my finger and that is pretty much the entire technique. You want to smooth down the hair strand itself with some gel, coat it with the gel, and then twirl it around your finger in a circular motion. You're pretty much just encouraging the natural curl or coil of your natural hair. Now once again, you'll want to plan ahead of time, figure out what kind of hairstyle you're going for. I want this to be more of a long-term hairstyle. My hair is super thick, so it would take a lot more smaller sections to get it as extremely defined as I particularly wanted it. So I took smaller sections. You can take medium sections for medium curls or large sections for less defined but looser type of curls. But I wanted it super defined, so as you guys can see, I started off really, really small, and then I got pretty medium sized towards the back. Product wise, you don't want to put a whole bunch of product on your hair. That way you don't end up waiting forever for it to dry. It really doesn't take that much if your hair is damp or wet before. You're just going to use enough just to coat the hair. You can feel the slip when you put the gel into your hair to where you're able to twirl the hair and not feel it like a dry feeling to the curls. Now beyond the water and doing this on damp hair, the other most important part is to make sure that you're defining the ends. You want to make sure that you're consistent from root to tip. If you leave your ends poofy, it's not going to come out nice and defined as you want it. So you want to make sure that you're running that product all the way down to the ends and swirling all the way down to the very end of that strand. Now you can continue on from section to section. This hairstyle pretty much lasts anywhere from a few weeks to I've seen some girls have this last them all the way up to a, a month. It just depends on how long you particularly like to leave hairstyles. I left mine for about a week or so before it got super poofy. You guys know I do a lot of videos so I had to take them down. But I'm using my leave-in conditioner at the end. My hair is pretty much air dried and you guys can see the shrinkage already. This leave-in conditioner is going to pretty much break that hard hard cast from the gel and leave my curls nice and soft. So I hope you guys enjoyed this. I love you guys and I'll see you guys in the next tutorial.